gradient of a line. I'm going to draw up some Cartesian planes and some lines that go through them. Got our x-axis and our y-axis. Let's draw a line going through y is 1 and x minus 1. Let's draw another one. Where we're going through y is 1, but this time we're going through x is minus a half. One more. Well, we're going to again go through y equals 1, but x is minus a quarter. So what's the difference between these lines here? Well, they all go through y equals 1, but they're going through different values of x. And what's happening to the line? The line is getting steeper. It's becoming more vertical. And this is what we call the gradient of a line. So the gradient of a line, another name for gradient is slope. It's how much, it's how steep the line is or how much it's sloping by. Gradients have a numbered value. And if we want to find the numbered value of the gradient, we can take any two points on the line so let's do the first one. Let's take this point and this point. And we're looking at the vertical distance and the horizontal distance. This hor the vertical distance is 1 and the horizontal distance is also 1 because they're both 1 away from the origin. And the gradient, which actually has the symbol m, always has the symbol m, equals the rise over the run of those two points. So the rise is the vertical distance, and the run is the horizontal distance. In this case, they're both 1, so we get 1 over 1. So the gradient in this case is 1. Let's have a look a bit more closely at some gradients. We've got our x and y axis. Any line that makes a 45 degree angle with the x-axis actually always has a gradient of 1. And if the line goes this way at a 45 degree angle, it has a gradient of minus 1. So any line that slopes this way has a negative gradient and any line that slopes this way has a positive gradient. If the line is steeper, the gradient's bigger. So this could be something like has a gradient of 2. And if it's steeper this way, it might have a gradient of minus 2. If the gradient is not as steep, it has a gradient less than 1, maybe something like a half. And if it's not as steep this way, it has a negative gradient, something like minus a half. Let's think about what's happening. Let's look at the bigger gradients first. So we've got 1 and 2. And what's happening to the line? It's getting steeper and steeper and steeper. So these gradients will be bigger. So they could have something like 3, 4, 50. 
a thousand, a million. What happens when we get a vertical line? Well, if the number's getting bigger and bigger and bigger for the steeper we get, what's the biggest number? Well, there is no biggest number. And that means that any line that's vertical actually has a gradient that's undefined because there is no biggest number. But what's happening the other way? We've got one and we're getting smaller, we're getting a half. Then something like this would be a quarter, an eighth. So the numbers are getting tiny and tiny and tiny. And what happens when it's flat? Well, that's when we have a gradient of zero. And these are good things to know with your grade. You don't have to memorize these, but you should at least know the concepts of all these gradients. Mm -hmm.